Welcome to the Sanson SPCA. Uh, my name is Ralph Holz, I'm the general manager here at Sanson SPCA. I uh, just wanted to do, thank you so much for your support during this COVID pandemic. It really has been super important for us. During the lockdown, this beautiful little fella, I rescued the dog. It was thrown, it was inside the plastic bag, and it was thrown. I watched a member of the public complained. And I rushed there and it was almost half dead. So I rushed to the scene and I collected the puppy and I brought it in here to the Sentinel SPCA. And thanks to the Sentinel SPCA team, now the dog is alive and it gets to get another chance in life to have a home. And hopefully it's going to be adopted soon. Um, we rushed him to get his temperature down, uh, put him on IV fluids, treated him with antibiotics, and yeah, for the first three days he couldn't stand. He was eating with his uh, head on the side. Um, he was very, very thirsty, but every day he made a little bit of improvement. So we kept going with him. And about a week after he'd um, come off of the fluids, he was walking. Um, he couldn't go upstairs initially, he couldn't run. And now he's just a picture of health. So this is Tiger. He came in probably about three weeks ago initially. Um, a young child of maybe about 10 um, is his owner and he thought that a neighbor had possibly thrown hot water on him. Um, initially we could only see the burns on the face and one or two on the back and the following week when he came in um, we could find a, a few more and then sort of beginning of this week he was surrendered to us because the, obviously the picture had changed and, and the, the child was not happy that his dog had you know, all these injuries and he, he couldn't really take care of them. So he's been surrendered to us. Um, we're treating the wounds every day. He's a million times better than he was and he's the sweetest person. He really is a, a little survivor. And he's yeah, gonna be very adoptable once he's all healed up. He's probably going to stay a bit patchy, the hair won't grow back in all of the places where he was severely burned. But yeah, he's a true fan, he's doing very, very well. Unfortunately, we're not able to do adoptions yet, it's just not been allowed, it's not regarded as an essential service. But as soon as we can, then we'll be able to adopt animals like this. Out. Dylan is just one example of the kind of work we've been doing while this, everyone's been at home and while everyone's not been working. We've had lots of issues with people bringing in animals saying they can't uh, support them anymore. They've lost their job, they're not getting money, uh, and so they can't support the animals, so we've had them. Uh, as you can see around the SPC area, we've got the dogs in the, in the paddocks. Uh, they're doing uh, lots of exercise, but of course they're missing human contact. And we're not able to have our uh, usual volunteers coming in, so that's been a, a struggle for us uh, to having volunteers that come and walk the dogs and give them socializing uh, interaction, which is really a key part to their development and to make them able to be uh, good, happy, healthy pets.